Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Aron Incevic and Gideon Stolberg. This game was played in Gothenburg in 1934. Incevic had white pieces and he started with d4. Stolberg played d5. c4, the queen's gambit, e6, declined. Knight to c3, knight to f6, knight to f3, bishop to e7, bishop to f4, c5, in the style of Tarash. D takes on c5, making the black does the bishop to move again, bishop takes on c5. e3, knight to c6, bishop to d3, and both players castled king's side. a6, white to move. c takes on d5, giving black an isolated queen's pawn. e takes on d5. Well, black could have avoided having an IQP by playing knight takes on d5. Then one line goes like this. Knight takes on d5, queen takes on d5, queen to c2. White stands better. White is threatening, bishop takes on h7, and black light squared bishop is slow to get back in the game. That is why in this position e takes on d5 was played, opening the diagonal for the bishop. Bishop to g5, bishop to e6, knight to e2, asking a question, bishop to h4, bishop to g4, intending to double the pawns. Nintsovich calmly played rook to c1, attacking the bishop, bishop to e7, white to move. Nintsovich played queen to b3, let's take it back. If knight from e to d4, knight takes on d4, e takes on d4, and then queen to b6, and black is doing well. Back to our game. That is why Nintsovich played queen to b3, preventing black from playing queen to b6, and allowing black to double the pawns on the king's side. And this is what happened. The bishop takes on f3, g takes on f3, queen to d7, rook from f to d1, rook from a to c8. Why to move? What would you do? What would be your plan in this position? Nintsovic came up with a simple plan. Pile up horses on the IQP, win the pawn and win in the endgame. For the start, white needs to remove one of the defenders of the pawn. Which one? The knight or the queen? Bishop takes knight was played. Bishop takes bishop. Bishop to e4. Knight to e7. Rook takes rook, rook takes rook, knight to f4, black to move, queen to b5, offering to trade queens and hoping to get a draw in the opposite color bishops endgame. Queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, knight takes on d5, knight takes on d5, rook takes pawn on d5, rook to a8. Well, this is the opposite color bishops endgame, but rooks are on the board too, and it makes a big difference. Why to move? How to defend the pawn on a2? Need switch play this nice move, rook to c5, king to f8. Winning the pawn has a tiny downside, and it is rook to c8 check. This is not checkmate, but after bishop to d8, it is rook takes bishop checkmate back to our game. King to f8, bishop to d5, defending the pawn, b4, saving the pawn on the b-file, rook to c7, bishop takes on b2, rook takes pawn check, king to e8, rook takes on b7, bishop to c3, defending the pawn, white move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Ninsa is played this very elegant move. Rook to no. The pawn is defended. Yes. Rook takes on g7. Bishop takes on g7. Bishop takes rook. Stolberg resigned. White is three pawns up. Very elegant game by Aron Ninsovic. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.